As a quick aside, I scripted this video before Bitcoin uh, hilariously crashed recently, uh, but I don't think that particularly affects the message here as regards to proof-of-work algorithms. I've seen a lot of people talking about how the absolutely voracious power requirements of cryptocurrency are okay, and they're not undoing our entire progress towards CO2 reduction, honest. I thought I'd just drop a quick video to explain why that's actually bullshit. Uh, so what is cryptocurrency? Well, it's not a currency, that's for sure. It's more of a commodity. It's something you can buy into for some amount of dollars and then sell later for some different amount of dollars, but you can't really use it to pay for stuff by itself. Oh sure, there's a couple of things like drugs and one country too unstable to have its own currency made Bitcoin legal tender, but that's largely theoretical stuff in the same way you can use gold bars to pay for stuff. The way people discuss, trade, and use cryptocurrency is very much the same as any other commodity. It has a value, the value changes as people speculate on it, and you buy in and cash out by selling it to someone else for an amount of some actual currency, which is generally how its value is expressed. Now, how new cryptocurrency gets created is something called mining, and it's basically a bunch of number crunching of one variety or another that's far too complex to get into, but the traditional way is to consume huge amounts of power to prove that you did work. This is problematic because this work doesn't actually do anything of any use to any human who exists in this universe. All it does is make a new Bitcoin exist that someone can then sell to rubes for money. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not all that impressed by cryptocurrency. This sale involves a complex cryptographic ledger checking exercise that, although impressive technically, is wildly inefficient and wasteful of energy. Some people will finger waggle at the traditional banking sector if you bring this up, but I used to work in offshore finance software and no, not even in the same order of magnitude per transaction. And finally, before I get a million comments, other forms of cryptocurrency also exist, such as proof storage and theoretical proof of network capacity, but those have their own problems, and the biggest basis out there is proof of work. So, green crypto is where if you post about any of this on the internet, the cultists descend in your comments to tell you that they only invest in homemade, non-GMO, organic cryptocurrency, and that all the mining these days is done using carbon neutral sources, so it's totally okay. As alluded to earlier, this is bullshit, which I will now demonstrate with a visual aid. Here we have a grid. On the grid are some homes. That's where the people live, and they are good, honest people generally, even if they read the wrong newspapers. Also on the grid is a factory or other business analogue where people work. In this case, work is actual work that produces an economic and or social good. Now. All of that requires power, so also on the grid, there's a big old coal-fired power plant. Ew. It's ugly and it poisons the air and it puts out a lot of CO2. That's bad, and we want to reduce our reliance on it until it's no longer needed and we can just turn it off. But even running it at reduced output would make it less bad. So, we install a nice solar array with some load balancing like a battery or pump storage. This only produces maybe 10% of the power the coal plant does, but that allows us to reduce the coal plant's output by 10%, which makes it pollute less. And now we're not going to burn, just our kids. Except, some crypto guys want to mine cryptocurrency and buy up all of the green energy so they can beat their dicks off about how green they're being. The problem is, how exactly are we going to power those houses now? That's right, we gotta keep the nasty old coal plant running at full power. To add insult to injury, the crypto wankers are gonna tell us we're being wretched cavemen for not moving to the green economy like them, even though they stole our carbon neutral power. They are causing our high CO2 output. So, what if we reduced our power consumption by 10%? Well, one, we can't reduce our power consumption to zero, which is what we'd need to close the coal plant. 
And two, why should we suffer because of their greed? What do we have to give up to feed their insatiable need for the money number to go up? Again, the work their mining systems do is not the same as the work our factory does, or the work our houses perform. Those produce goods, theirs do not. If we removed the cryptocurrency from the world entirely, we would give up nothing to do so, and therefore, that's where we should make the energy savings. Now, the next argument the green crypto cultists will make is going to be about off-grid power, which kind of seems like a totally different thing that's harder to argue against, but it's not. It's all smoke and mirrors. Here's how it goes. They have a self-contained mining setup that's not running on power from the grid. It has its own solar farm or wind turbines or whatever. It's easy to be bamboozled by this, but here's the thing. Have you tried buying a graphics card recently? Hard, isn't it? Graphics cards are really good at doing proof of work calculations, so miners have been buying them out. Now imagine we have our little town from before with the houses and the factory and the coal plant. We want to build a solar array or a wind farm to make some carbon neutral power for our homes so that we can reduce the coal plant's output. But now we can't get solar panels or wind turbines or we're priced out of that market. Why? Because they've all been snapped up by crypto miners tweeting at us about how green they're being and mocking us for still using coal power. It's still their fault we're using coal power though. We can't build carbon neutral generation because they're hogging all the equipment for it. They are causing our high CO2 output. All of this isn't even getting into the immense electronic waste issues crypto mining causes. Now, am I oversimplifying the grid a bit? Sure, but the fundamentals hold. I actually had an expert look over my notes for this. Are new coins better? In some ways, yes, but I'm unconvinced as somehow, somewhere, there has to be something that backs up the commodity and ultimately it's all fruitless. It's all for nothing. None of it matters. Cryptocurrency consumes work and produces no value to society. The only thing it does is make the money number go up. And the money number isn't real. We made it up. Ask any economist what happens when you magically create money. Now, I'm sure some of you might be offended by this video. Uh, just leave a comment below and I'll ignore it. It's fine. Um, but for those of you who enjoyed it, yeah, the, this is basically what green crypto is all about. It's, it's just lies. That's it.